so right now we have this so what I want is I want to even fraction in more but we can do that by calculating the velocity so as soon as the particles reach certain velocity it will activate another volume breaker operator so I'll need my active group and then I'll need one condition threshold and okay let's rename this as velocity so it will calculate my velocity and activate another volume breaker the velocity to threshold condition and it will turn on this volume breaker and it will be in another group so let's create one group let's name this as detail so this is my detail facts it can be even more smaller and let's change the color to blue yes so in volume breaker I've assigned detail and I want 35% uh, to be fractured again and then let's reduce this for now later on we can increase the fragmentation connect it and let's preview and you can see in velocity right now it's 1 so let's say 10 as you can see the blue fragments are in the another group called as detail and they haven't fractured, fractured even more I want them to be activated as soon as the particles start moving the crack starts activating so reducing the velocity threshold they'll activate as soon as they move a little bit So this operator will help you to get more variety, get more variation. So there are big chunks and there are small detailed chunks. So I have reduced the raster to 10. I can see there's more details. And that's calculating, that's why it's it's getting more slower. Now uh, I'll reduce the increase the elastic and reduce the dynamic friction, static friction. Same for the active. And let's see. This will help to fall down much more faster. Okay. As you can see, it's falling much more faster now. Now what we can do is to optimize it, we can delete these particles as soon as they go in the bottom. So for that I'll create a box. So as soon as this particles, as soon as this particle will enter this box, the particles will be deleted. So I'm replacing it here. Change the color. And I'll create one more dynamic set and name this as delete me. Let's make some more room. And now, whatever is in the shape collision group, as soon as it will touch the box, it will get deleted. So I'll be needing particle tie. So that will be activated. And we'll need a condition in mesh. So in mesh condition will require a node. So let's create a node. Pick the box and 
connected to in mesh and this outfill bit will go to on the party filter i so we connect to particle shape All right, so I'll connect this particle to this particle tie and particle shape from position to position. Now, uh, let's check. So as you can see, the particles are falling down and you can see they are being deleted. So there won't be too much geometry in the scene and your scene won't be that much heavy. So this will help you to optimize your scene. And I've turned off shape collision, so let's turn it on. Let's check it again. And uh, I'll increase the number of particles, so there'll be more factoring. And let's cache this. Save it. And it will take a while. So I'll, I'll just pause the video and I'll be back. Hi, right. so it's been cached now. So let's have a look. So as you can see, there's more fragmentation and all the particles have been deleted. So it's quite optimized.
and if you want you can even add more particles coming from the edges or we can simulate this in dream effects add more details but this is just a basic tutorial Alright guys, it's been cast. Let's have a look. There we go. So see, it's very procedural. I just modified the, my path of the cracks. And voila. It's done. This is very basic setup. So, so just by playing with this, you can modify some parameters, add some more details. Maybe later on, you can simulate in fume effects and add more dust and debris. So, this is how you can achieve this effect. And thank you for watching. More tutorials will be coming soon. Thank you.